does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Just a fair warning, I do want to mention that we're going to be going into some details of the inner workings of the movie, so if you're someone who doesn't want anything at all spoiled, uh, there will be spoilers in this, even though I don't think it's a real, um, really a movie that's going to be spoiled by learning about what's inside the movie beforehand. Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a movie review of the next great American game from Douglas Morse and Grandfather Films. This was on Kickstarter in 2013. It was successfully funded, like massively successfully funded. They asked for like 5000 they got 21000 And it follows one man's tale as he tries to get his game from a uh, prototype to a reality. And along the way, he talks to all sorts of game designers and game players and everybody, a bunch of big hitters in the industry. And I brought my lovely wife into this game review, or into this movie review, sorry, because it, I feel like it gives two unique perspectives. Like me, you know, I know a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. I've talked to a lot of the people that were were in this, and that was really cool. But you, I mean, you, I mean, you knew the companies and some of the stuff, but you were... I've heard of most of the companies. Yeah, she's heard of most of the companies, but behind the scenes stuff... Not your cup of tea at all, right? No. You don't know any of this? You, I mean, you've never been to Gen Con, Origins, nothing like that. So we wanted to get two differing opinions on the movie. Um, so just initial thoughts. What did you think about the movie? I actually really enjoyed the movie. Okay. What did you like about it? It was just interesting to see the, pro the process, like from an outside perspective. Like yeah. you said, I know absolutely nothing about it. Yeah, so so in case we'll fill in some of the blanks here. He starts off, and it's a really nice looking prototype. Like the prototype oh, is yeah. really really nice. The game itself, though, I mean, it looks at the beginning of the movie, it looks like something that, and they put said this in the movie very well. Looks like a 1980s game. Mm -hmm. It really did. It had roll and move mechanics. It had lose a turn, which is, uh, but but I personally, the theme itself it, it interested me. The turnpike probably not used so much. No. I really enjoy driving, and my wife will tell you, when I'm, when I'm driving, it is a game for me. I like to merge. I like to piss people off sometimes. I like to do all that. So the game itself sounded like a cool concept to me. But the film delves into a lot of other things as well, because um, he has bipolar disorder, and, and, and the film goes pretty deep into that, and you start off at the beginning, of the, I'd say like the first third of the film, and it's all about game design, game design, hey, I'm at Gen Con, and he's just brand new, and he's beaming, and he has, knows nothing about any of what he's about to get his head into and it's fun to watch too and it's a little bit disheartening like there's a couple parts in the movie where it's like he really just gets the the david or douglas sorry really just gets like the oh man maybe my game's like you know what i'm saying he like it's really down about it yeah at certain points because it's just constant just no 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 just beating him down and some people more than other uh, particularly the guy from minion games and you know this isn't a bad thing what he did you know he just really just like this is a 1980s game get your time machine go back and, and you know he put it in a very blunt way which you know and it, it was interesting to watch as because half the movie seems like it's struggling with bipolar disorder and you get a, a glimpse into that and then the other half is about the game design um, another thing along the way is that he has this other game that he's been working on. And it, it's, I put it in like a Rory Story Cube category, where it's not a game necessarily, but it's more of an activity. And, and I gotta say, when I first saw that part, I was like, wow, that look, I work with, with children that, that have lost loved ones, and I was like, that looks fantastic, that looks perfect, but you had a little bit of part, a complaint about this part of the movie. What, what? It's, at the beginning it's all about... What, what it's called? Turnpike. turnpike. And it's nothing but Turnpike. Turnpike, Turnpike. Board, Absolutely yeah. nothing. You get one little snippet of this other game that he's made, and then all of a sudden, out of thin air, he's at this office of these architects. <laughs> architects. And he's talking about this game, and they're going to make this game or something, and it was just completely out of nowhere. It was, it was, totally. it was a little bit out, of, it was kind of like a left turn, it, the same thing goes with the bipolar disorder too, I thought like when they got to the part about the pills and whatnot, it was just like, we're, we're on this straight path, and it's like, woo, just takes a weird turn with that, and it's same with, with them being in an architecture office talking about this game. Uh, so the game did definitely have some odd quirks, or the, the movie, I'm so used to reviewing games, it had some odd quirks here and there, I do feel like. Uh, there was one particular point where, like, he's talking to the guy from Game Salute, and they, like, lingered on this shot for, like, 20 <laughs> seconds longer than they could have, and it's just, like, this conversation between this guy and the guy from Game Salute about his pregnant wife or something. And it had nothing to do with the movie. Um, 
But but I've held off my opinion. Do you like the movie? I really enjoyed this movie. And, and I think if you're big into the hobby, I think you will as well. I think it's just a really cool peek behind the curtains of stuff that you don't get to see. I mean, at the end, they showed, like, the speed dating event at Gen Con where he's, like, just showing off stuff. He got a lot of sit-downs with people in the industry, and it was really cool. Um, he taught, and that's one thing I really enjoyed about this movie as a gamer's perspective is was seeing all the different companies and the games that I know, their games, and their perspectives on it. Like Smirk and Dagger was like, hey, we can do some more attacking here. And Hasbro was like, there's just too much going on. It's a little bit too complex. Uh, the guy from Hasbro. And, and, and I like that an awful lot. So overall, would you recommend the movie as just as a, a casual game player? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Likewise. I really enjoyed this movie. I, I thought it was, it was really cool. Is it a movie that I'm going to go out and watch immediately again? No, but I could definitely see watching with my son when he gets a little bit older or showing it to some of my other gaming buddies and be like, hey, check this out. I think you might get a kick out of it. Uh, I thought it was an interesting look behind the curtains of creating a game and bipolar disorder, which is just that's a weird combination to mix up. Uh, it, it, the one thing that did bug me was a little bit, it was a little bit short, I thought. I wish it would have just stretched it out just a little bit more. It's brisk at 80 minutes. It doesn't overstay its welcome by any means, but I wish it was just a little bit longer. Like, if there's just a little bit more, or is that just me? Uh, I think that might just be you. Okay, I it was just it was me. perfect. Um, but yeah, overall, I enjoyed it. My wife enjoyed it. That's the next great American game from Douglas Morse uh, from Grandfather Films. Oh, we, we didn't even begin to talk about... That's one last thing I want to mention that I really liked about this movie, is that he starts off just gung-ho, I am not changing my game. And then, like, yeah. it's just the world kind of beats him down and beats him down. And then he starts taking people's advice and he rethemes the game and he does this and he does that. And I like that an awful lot. And I think any amateur game designer, that's somebody. I think if you're an amateur yeah. game designer, you should absolutely watch this movie because he eventually takes these people's advice. And I would imagine, you know, he's making the game better. If the guy from Yellow is actually, you know, a big, big company is actually taking yeah. that into consideration, I think that that was really cool. But overall... Definitely a movie that you should check out if you're into hobby games, which if you're watching this video, you probably are. That's the next great American game from Douglas Morse and from Grandfather Films. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. And in the comments below, let me know, do you want me to review more content like this, more board game movies and stuff? Because I know there's quite a few documentaries out there about the topic, and I personally enjoy watching them. So let me know in the comments below if this kind of stuff interests you. I will also post a Kickstarter link below down so you can check out the project yourself if you want to go purchase that. Uh, but as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. What, what, what am I supposed to do with my hands? Just... What?